Hey guys, Alex here, We're doing another movie review. Uh, tonight's movie is Ted. I just saw this uh, this evening. Um, this is the movie by Seth MacFarlane, his very first uh, movie, or feature length movie. And, gotta say, pretty fucking funny. This is probably the funniest movie of the year so far. Um, very, very much could be on my top ten this year. Uh, let me just go over pros and cons. Um, I think everyone knows the story, so I'm not going to cover that. Uh, basically, a little kid wishes for a teddy bear to come to life, comes to life, and then, you know, they grows up with him. Uh, pros. Very, very funny. This was probably the funniest movie since, like, Bridesmaid that just had me laughing the entire time. Uh, very well written. Um, Stephen Farland just knew what he was doing, knew the right jokes to do. Jokes were all good. You know, everyone got a laugh. Um, all the characters were likable. Um, Ted was a very funny character, and, you know, uh, you had that whole burnt out celebrity thing, which was pretty funny. I thought it, I thought it worked well. I thought they did it well. Mark Wahlberg was pretty good, um, you know, as this kind of guy who, you know, hasn't quite grown up yet. Mila Kunich, you know, that character very easily could have come off as a bitch, you know, trying to make it her boyfriend move out and, you know, grow up and, like, leave behind her his best friend. But instead, she came off as a pretty understanding and reasonable person, so that's good. So all the main characters were good. Um, like I said, Ted was one of the funniest characters this year so far. I mean, every time he was on screen, I was laughing my ass off. He's funny as hell. And even the side characters were good. Uh, Joel McHale was in there as uh, Mila Kunis' boss, which he was pretty funny. Um, what's the guy's name from Seinfeld? The guy who plays like Putty or whatever. I don't remember his name. He was in it. He was funny. And a few other guys. Um, and a lot of like, two really good cameos. I'm not going to spoil them, but they're really funny and when they show up. Um, so, yeah, those were all great, you know. Uh, now the cons. Uh, obviously, it's a very predictable you know, love story where they break up and they get back together at the end. I don't think I'm going to spoil anything there. But at the same time, it is predictable, but at the same time, it's pretty, you know, unique twist on it, and it keeps, it's entertaining throughout the entire thing. Um, a little too long, in my opinion. Like, I think they could have made it a little shorter. You know, I think I just think it went a little too long, and, like, there's one part, like, right, the, right here, I'm talking about, um, one part that just seemed a little too overly dramatic, even though the joke payoff at the end of it was really funny and really really good. I I think it would I think the, the this part was like a little too dark and tried to, it was a little too serious for the movie tone. And I think if they had cut that back, it might have the movie might have flowed better. It just seemed a little too long. But needless to say, if you're a fan of Stephen Fawn's comedy, if you like Family Guy, American Dad, or any of those shows he does, you'll obviously love this movie. I really enjoyed it. and I highly recommend it for anyone that's a Stephen Fawn fan. And, you know, really, it's probably the funniest movie this year so far. I can't think of anyone else, anything else that even comes close to this. Just funny, funny movie. Go see it. I'll give it 8 out of 10, and it's probably going to be on my top 10 list this year. I don't know. But that's it for now. Take care, guys. Bye.